The uh, other games are going ahead, and there's no sound barrier there, so we'll be hearing whistles and crowd noise and uh, scoreboards from that. There's a nice tip up and not good uh, and good by Longwell. He now has four points. That's Jet Longwell. Tigers come back. There's Washburn over to Abe Lopez. Lopez at the free throw line dishes it off to Sixby. Sixby stops, throws it over now with the ball is Lincoln in the corner. Lopez for three. Three in a row for Abe Lopez. Wow. Boy, he has started a house of fire, and the Tigers are up 11-6 to six on our pinnacle bank of Thermopolis scoreboard. Down court for the Thermopolis uh, Bobcats. Balls on the floor. Hadley Johnson lost control of it, but he picks it back up. Now over to Shumway. Shumway to McCoy Longwell. Longwell back to Shumway. There's a shot for three. It's off the iron. No, not good. Hustling for the rebound is McCoy. Shots up off. Not good. Tigers get the rebound. It's Braden Lincoln. Long pass down court. is knocked out of bounds by uh, the Tigers, and it's a turnover for Lander. And the Tigers will give the ball up. 4.37 to go here. First period of play, 11-6. Lander with the lead here in the uh, Bighorn Basin Tournament in Powell. Parker Sixby comes out of the game now for Lander, and Talon Whelan comes in for the Tigers. It's McCoy Longwell over to Shumway. Shumway back to Longwell, and he'll bring it into the forecourt on the right-hand side. Brings it all the way down in the forecourt. Oh, almost traveled. Rebounded by Washburn. Lander Tigers go the other way. Long pass down court to Lopez. In the lane, he puts up the shot off the glass. Abe Lopez is having a heck of a game here in the first quarter. He has 11 points already in the game. Lander leads 13 to 6. Great start by Lopez. Yeah, Rusty or not, man. Rusty it may be the other team, uh, uh, Thermopolis right now, but Abe Lopez is not Rusty that at all. Shumway dishes it off in the corner. Shots up by Hadley Johnson. Not good. And we've got a foul. And it's going to go against Neropolis on the rebound. Jet Longwell picks up the personal foul. His first, team first. 3.50 to go. First period. Lander leading 13-6 on our wildtoday.com scoreboard. Here's Braden Lincoln on the near side. Gives it off to Whalen. Long three-pointer off the back of the eye. Or not good. Rebounded, pulled down by Hardly, uh, Hadley Johnson for the Bobcats. Cats come down with Shumway on the left-hand wing. Around the horn it goes to Corbin Cimarill underneath the basket. Can't shot. Balls knocked out of bounds by the Tigers' Lincoln. And so coming in now, wearing number 12 is Kayla Bartoni. We saw Bartoni in the uh, first uh, game over in Lander and haven't seen him since. He's been playing on the junior varsity team. Here's Shumway. Shumway underneath the basket. There's uh, Hardly Hadley Johnson was open for a moment. Oh, Shumway across the court. Whistle. No, not a whistle. Whistle from the other gym. Sorry about that. And Corbin Simmerall has it. Corbin on top of the key over to Shumway. Long cross-court pass to McCoy Longwell. Underneath, there's a shot up off, not good. It goes out of bounds off Lander. Yeah, and, you know, one of the keys to the game for Thermopolis, if they want to get any offense going, they have to attack Brennan Stauffenberg because he is big enough to block shots underneath the center, and he is big enough to shoot the three with no hesitation because he can shoot it over you, and he's got the skill to do so. There's Jet Longwell oh. with a drive in the paint. No good. We have an offensive foul going to be called against the Thermopolis Bobcats, and the whistle is going to go against Hadley Johnson, his first, team second. So the Tigers have it in the uh, backcourt. With it is Bartoni. Gives it off to Abe Lopez. Lopez down the court. Lander moving from left to right. School's getting out here. <laughs> yeah. Here's Abe Lopez underneath. Whistle up and good. Oh, a great shot that time by Bartoni. And he gets his first two points. 2.26 to go. First period. Lander 15. Thermopolis 6. The Cats with the ball now come down court. With it is, Cor uh, no, is uh, Corbin Simmerall underneath the basket to Hadley Johnson. Johnson loses the ball out of bounds, and it'll go to the Tigers. Turnover, Thermopolis. Coach Shane's got to do something here to stop the bleeding if Lander's able to score again because it is already 15-6 to six with two minutes left, and Thermopolis, they are just fighting for baskets that they're not getting very, very good shots at right now. 
Abe Lopez brings it down the court for the Tigers. Hands it off. Well, Lopez has it again. Underneath the basket, off the glass, not good. And Thermopolis doing a great job underneath the basket, blocking out the Tigers. They get the rebound. Here's McCoy Longwell fouled on his way down the court. Got a little elbow there. Personal foul is going to go against Tail and Whelan, his first. Not many fouls called in the game. Two against Thermopolis, one against Lander. Play is in, not a shooting foul. So here comes Longwell on the far side. Long cross-court pass to oh, Corbin wow. Simmerall. Shots up by Shumway, not good. And we have a foul going to be called on Jet Longwell for a push, his second of the game, third for the Cats. Yeah, the Lander team was going out of bounds to grab it, and I think he was going to throw it at Jet anyway. Jet just said, I'm going to push you instead. Coming into the game, Dell Dukes now for the Bobcats, and Jet Longwell comes out. Lander has a substitution coming in. Brennan Stauffenberg is coming back into the game, and Abe Lopez getting a bit of a rest. Klung's arm is in a sling. That is not good for Lander for the near future. I did not see that when we came in, but it sure is. He hasn't been in the game, and that's pretty obvious why. Tigers have the ball on top. Whalen over to Bartoni. Bartoni to Lincoln. Lincoln far side, outside. Whalen for three. He's got it. Nice three ball, three ball there by Talon Whelan. It's pretty and obvious what Lander's been practicing. <laughs> yeah, all the way down the court, drive, personal, a uh, player control foul against Hadley Johnson. We'll give the ball over to uh, Lander. It's 18 to six, a minute 11 to go, first period of play. Now coming into the lineup, Cody Bombingen from Thermopolis. And let's see, coming out of the game was Hadley Johnson. And I'll tell you what, you know, we saw last week, Thermopolis can get off to a really hot start, but if they don't, they just get in their own way. And now, right now, they're just trying to find anything. Even a free throw would do for them. But they're just getting in their own way right now. Wayland over to Washburn underneath Bartoni. Turnaround jumper is in and out. Not good. High for the rebound is Bombergen. Down court for the Cats on the right side outside. Shumway has it. Now back over to uh, Simmerell. Underneath the basket, McCoy Longwell shot not good. Rebound by Bobagen is in. Two points, and it's now a 10-point lead, 18 to 8. 30 seconds to go here. First period of play from the Bighorn Basin Tournament up in Powell. There's the give and go. Shot by Stauffenberg is good on the nice feed from Washburn. First points of the game by Stauffenberg. Thermopolis. Uh, Longwell brings what it down, pass. almost threw it away, up and in, nice give and go. Dell Dukes gets his first points of the game. Ten seconds to go, it's 20 to 10. Tigers looking for the last shot. With it is Stauffenberg, Stauffenberg underneath the Bartoni. Bartoni just heaves it up and it will not go anywhere. So at the end of the first period of play, Lander Valley 20 and the Thermopolis Bobcats 10. Back after this. Seven Lazy S Cafe and Bar in Thermopolis invites you to try the best breakfast in Wyoming. Try some of the hit dishes like the biscuits and gravy, the chicken fried steak, and the huevos rancheros. If it translates to ranch eggs, you know it'll be good. Try over 20 breakfast items on the menu. Find the kind of cooking that keeps you wanting more at 109 South 6th Street in Thermopolis. Seven Lazy S Cafe and Bar. Open Friday through Tuesday, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and for dinner, 4.30 to 9 p.m. Ernie over and now Kevin Gerber joining us on the team for a little bit of color. Uh, Kevin, former coach at uh, Thermopolis, getting a little bit of experience here. And uh, maybe you'll be doing Thermop games later on this year. Yeah, that's kind of the hope, Ernie. So yeah. thanks, for, thanks for having me today. All Excited right. To help. 
So the Cats have the ball, trailing 20 to 10, bringing the ball down court is Gavin Shumway. Shumway on the right side, outside, across the court it goes to Great Simmerall pass. underneath. Nice give and go. Shots up and uh, not good by Del Dukes. Lander gets the rebound. Lopez brings it all the way down, coast to coast, and one. Nope, no basket. They say the foul was on the floor before he took off. So uh, the personal foul is going to go against uh, Del Dukes, and uh, that was a pretty good run that time by Lopez. It was. Yeah, they've definitely been the more aggressive team so far. So we'll see see if we can answer here. Here's uh, Stauffenberg. Shots up, not good. Whistle, and we have a uh, foul on the hands against Thermopolis. It's going to go against Corbin Simmerall. His first. And already that's the sixth team foul against Thermopolis. One more and they'll put Lander in the one and bonus. Tigers have it. Here's Parker Sixby back in the game. Off to Bartoni. Abe Lopez at the free throw line. Drives the lane. Hands it off to Bartoni and out of bounds. That is a turnover. Second for the Tigers. 7.22 to go here. Period number two until halftime. It's Lander 20. Thermopolis uh, 10. McCoy Longwell has it in the backcourt, kicks it over to Shumway, who will bring it into the forecourt. Shumway on the right-hand side, looking for some help, gets it over on the near side to Dukes. Dukes on top to Longwell. Longwell in the lane, puts up a nice shot, and it rolls in and out. No, not good. Good possession. Good possession just didn't finish, right? Long pass down to uh, Bartoni is good from uh, Stauffenberg. That's a nice assist by Stauffenberg. The Tigers average uh, 12 assists a game, and that was one of the pretty ones right there. 6.45 to go until halftime, 22 to 10. Here comes Longwell in the middle of the uh, paint. Can't shoot. Brings it over to Simmerall. Shots up, off, not good. We have people on the floor, and I think we've got a lander foul coming here. No, it went out of bounds. No, it, it was a foul. You never know. Sometimes, uh, Kevin, the officials make it uh, clear right away. Sometimes yeah. they don't. Well, and it came in pretty late, too. It was kind of after the shot had gone up and already a rebound. So, Shumway in the corner to Simmerall. His shot is not good. He pumps it out to Longwell. Floating one-hander is good by McCoy Longwell, now has four points in the game. 6.15 to go until halftime, 22-12. Here's Stauffenberg, oh, a nice block from behind, but he got him with the body. So it'll be a foul on Corbin Simmerall, and Stauffenberg will go to the free throw line to shoot a couple of shots. Yeah, and this quarter could end up being a pretty long one now that we're in the bonus and already causing uh, fouls to, to have them shooting free throws, but. Yeah, and as you know, uh, you uh, don't want to have uh, the other team scoring points while the clock stopped. Right, <laughs> absolutely. Exactly. Especially when you're in a 10-point deficit. Exactly. Okay, Stauffenberg missed the first. He hasn't been that good on free throws this year, and he misses that one too. Parker Sixby went for the uh, rebound. It uh, bounced off of him, and uh, it'll be Thermop's ball. 6.06 to go until halftime, 22-12. Lander by... 10. In the early game, uh, it was uh, Thermopolis over Landers JV, 53-49. to That was kind of an exciting game. It was a good game, and they, yeah. they uh, Thermop came down from a 15-point deficit at one point, and yeah, it was a good fight all the way to the end. Oh, there, great pass there by McCoy. Yeah, there was Longwell on a nice assist to Dukes. He now has four points in the game, 22-14. Stauffenberg from the free throw line throws up an air ball, and it was not touched by Thermop. Now the uh, officials are saying it was touched by Thermopolis. So later we'll have the ball underneath the Thermop uh, basket, and that was a case where one official says, no, I saw it <laughs> touched. <laughs> right, so, yeah, 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 I think I think Gerber got a hand on it, and they, they called it out on him. Here's Lopez outside the arc, bounce pass underneath Stauffenberg. Stauffenberg does a 360 off the glass. No, but he draws the foul. And I've been watching Stauffenberg play for quite a few years, and he is an aggressive player. It's, he's fun to watch, always under control. Seems like he can finish around the rim, too, so he plays hard. He started his career in Thermopolis. He did, yeah. Yeah, yeah his dad coached back-to-back uh, -back state championships with the girls' team. I think they even had an undefeated season. And Yeah, we've been watching him for a lot of years. Stauffenberg hits the charity stripe, or he doesn't, he stands next to the charity stripe, he hits the free throw. 
Parker Sixby comes out of the game and Braden Lincoln back in for Lander. 23-14. Second shot's not good. It's crawling up the ladder is Cody Bomagen. Is that how that's pronounced? It is, yeah. yeah Bomagen. Yep, that's right. He does a great job. He's a freshman, plays really hard. And he went high to get that he rebound. Did. He did. Jet Longwell now from 15. No, not good. Rebound is going to be knocked out of bounds. It'll go to the Tigers. Yeah, you like to see the aggressive play, at least from McCoy getting in and following his shot and going after the rebound just to get a handle on it, but good to see him be aggressive. Here's Abe Lopez to bring it into the forecourt for the Tigers on the right-hand wing. On top to Washburn, who's back in the game, to Stauffenberg, who drives, whistle, and we have a player control foul going to be called against the uh, Tigers, and it's uh, going against uh, Bennett Washburn. Yeah, I think it was on the screen. I thought at first maybe it was on Stauffenberg with the spin move, but I don't know if Thermoth's going to have to recognize that he likes that spin move. <laughs> yeah, that's the third time he's done it today. <laughs> yeah, and it's been effective every time. 4.55 to go until halftime. Oh, there was a travel yeah, it was. that wasn't called. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath the basket, Shumway for two. I think that's the rule, right? It's only a travel if it is called. <laughs> that, that's right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Timeout uh, called by uh, Shane Corporating for Thermopolis. Lander 23, Thermopolis 16. We'll be back after this. Seven Lazy S Cafe and Bar in Thermopolis invites you to try the best breakfast in Wyoming. Try some of the hit dishes like the biscuits and gravy, the chicken fried steak, and the huevos rancheros. If it translates to ranch eggs, you know it'll be good. Try over 20 breakfast items on the menu. Find the kind of cooking that keeps you wanting more at 109 South 6th Street in Thermopolis. Seven Lazy S Cafe and Bar. Open Friday through Tuesday, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and for dinner, 4.30 to 9 p.m. Well, for our radio audience, you didn't get to see the Huevos Rancheros, uh, but boy, that sure did look good. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I've had, had that meal myself, and it is delicious. Lander with a lead, 23-17, to 17, as Thermopolis is chipping away at it. Lander will have it in the backcourt. Stauffenberg brings it down with 4.40 to go until halftime. Off to Washburn to Lopez outside the arc on the right side to Stauffenberg. And Brennan moves it in, has the ball knocked away, but it's, he picks it back up, gives it to Lopez, drives the lane, shots up. No, not good. Fight for the rebound. Lopez got his own rebound. Yeah, he got that rebound in, in traffic. Yeah, he kicks it back out and uh, gets the ball back. Now over to Stauffenberg on the near side, Whalen. Whalen just inside the arc, kicks it out now over to Stauffenberg. Back to Whalen. He launches a three that's not good. A little uh, too strong that time. And the rebound comes down to uh, the uh, Canyon Gerber for the uh, Thermopolis uh, Bobcats. You know that young man, don't I you? I do know that young man, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Pretty pretty proud dad. Yeah, that's very good. Here's Gavin Shumway on top to Longwell. Ball's knocked away by Stauffenberg, but it's picked up by Shumway. Shumway has it now on the right-hand side all the way across the key. There's a long shot up by Canyon. No, not good. Rebounded by Washburn. Lander on the fast break now. Here's Whalen. Whalen brings it down, stops, slows it, throws it on top to Lopez. He'll drive the baseline or drive the uh, paint, and he gets it. That is now the 13th point of the game, Kevin, for yeah. Lopez. He's, he's playing so good. Came out, of course, knocking down some threes right away, and then that uh, obviously always opens up the lane to drive. McCoy Longwell underneath the Great basket. Pass. There's Bobajan for two. Good finish, too. Nice play that time and the assist. Yeah, nice to see Cody get big and catch the ball and go finish it. Three minutes to go, first half, 25-18. Lander, here's Stauffenberg, drives, puts a floater up, it goes. Stauffenberg gets uh, his uh, fifth point of the game, only a second uh, basket. They're mopping the backcourt, seeing a little bit of defensive pressure here by the Tigers. 2.45 to go. They better hurry and get that ball, and we have a travel. 
Well, I saw the dad reaction that time. <laughs> oh, no, he traveled with yeah. the ball. Yeah, he kind of felt that one coming for, for a minute. He didn't want to, didn't know what he was going to do with the ball. Yeah, he kind of leaned a little bit forward. <laughs> and it was it was too late to yeah. get the, the foot down. Yeah, I think we officially call that the Gerber shuffle. The Gerber <laughs> shuffle, yeah, okay, that works for me. 2.41 to go, first half, 27-18. Lander on our pinnacle bank of Thermopolis scoreboard. There's one from way outside by Whalen. Not good, and it'll be Thermop's ball yeah, in the he's had, he's had a couple of pretty good looks at it here these last couple possessions, but, uh, you know, Thermop's kind of trailing, so they're having a hard time getting there. He's getting some good open shots, just not falling just yet. Well, Lander had three-point uh, shot itis here earlier in the season where every time they went down the court, they'd launch it up. They've been a little more deliberate now. Here's Bombajan down court. Goes over to Simmerall. Simmerall for three. It's an air ball. Rebound is saved by Thermopolis. Now it's McCoy Longwell, and he loses the basketball. Fourth turnover by the Bobcats. Underneath to, uh, that's going to be a player control foul against Caleb Bartoni. No doubt about that one. Absolutely. Yeah, he saw that one coming for a minute. Yeah, Bartoni was on his way to the basket and uh, getting defensive pressure that time and planting the feet and drew the charge. Yeah, Gerber's mom might have a conversation with him about his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the JV game, we had one of the Lander players lose his glasses I, yep, on I the floor. That. I saw that. On the far side, outside, Gerber has it. On top of the key to Jet Longwell, or not Jet Longwell, McCoy. He falls down, but the ball gets up. Rebound, Parker Sixby underneath to Bartoni for the layup, and he has picked up a foul. It'll be an and one. Well, we haven't seen Bartoni in a while. He uh, has been playing mainly junior varsity ball for the Tigers. He already has six points yeah, today, Kevin. He, he, uh, the coach must have saw something in the JV game. He played pretty well in the JV game, so that a lot of the times they'll transition into varsity games, especially when they're back-to-back -back like this. So looks like that's, that's what they're doing here. And Tig there's the seventh. <laughs> yeah, Tigers uh, getting uh, an opportunity to play a lot of people because they'll come back and have another game here coming up real soon. Underneath, there's a shot up, and Gerber right gets on. it. Uh, that was uh, Gavin. Oh, Shumway, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. yeah. I appreciate the shout-out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> getting the number confused here. Uh, three is a long way away from 11. <laughs> but Gavin, we had a really nice visit with his folks uh, last week down in Rollins. And even uh, went to the same restaurant after one of the games and had a nice chat. Yeah, they're great folks. They sure are. Had a lot of Thermop folks there. Yeah, there was a lot. And uh, I think there was a lot of us that ended up getting stuck in the snow, too. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Shumway, with the opportunity for the old-fashioned three-point play, misses that. Minute and a half to go now in the game. Lander coming back. There's a spin move by Lopez. He got too fancy oh. and had his pocket picked by Shumway, but then he lost it out of bounds. So Tigers will have it with a minute 20 to go, leading 30 to 20. The Bobcats got it down to uh, seven points here a few minutes ago. Tigers back up on top by 10. There's Bartoni, far side, six B underneath to uh, Stauffenberg for two. Nice feed on that play. Great sideline play. You kind of forget about the person taking it out of bounds, and he just got lost in traffic and got it right back, and great finish. And we've got 60 seconds to go. Shumway, long pass down court to Gerber. On top and around, here's a new player, and now Ellis Weber is in. Underneath, there's a shot knocked away by Bartoni. Nice defensive move. He timed it just right to get the basketball and not the arm. Yeah, that was one where Dell maybe shouldn't have uh, given the pump fake and just went up with it right away. He kind of let the defense catch up. On the play on the inside, we have a held ball for the first time this uh, game. Braden Lincoln came in and got the uh, ball away, and that'll be a turnover for Thermopolis, their fifth of the game. Lander will have it with under 45 seconds to go now. Stauffenberg brings it down, bounce pass to Bartoni. Now over to Parker Sixby on top Lincoln. Lincoln has it. There's that buzzer from the other gym to Sixby. Back over to Bartoni in the middle of the lane. Oh, he gets a second player control foul. No doubt about that one. Yeah, Ellis saw that one coming for a while, and he set up there for, for a minute. So, Yeah, Bartoni likes to go in the middle of the lane there, and uh, you're right. 
the defense was right on the mark. So 27 seconds to go. Thermop has an opportunity to pull back within 10. Down court for the Cats is Weber. Weber stops, fires it over to Shumway. Shumway Great makes save. a move to the basket. Off the glass, no. Rebound Bartoni. 11 seconds to go. Lander three on two. Oh, and that is going to be another player control foul or a blocking foul. Oh, I think they got him for a blocking that time. I think both Gerber and Weber both tried to get in there for the <laughs> offensive and then got in each other's way. And yeah, you got to be uh, you got to be standing your ground, both feet on the ground, in order to get that call. Yeah, and it was a good, great aggressive move by Stauffenberg too. He kind of went to split split between both of them and drew the foul because of it. I think. Ten fouls against Thermopolis. Double bonus now. Stauffenberg hits the basket. He gets the free throw. 33-20. 6.9 seconds to go. Next shot coming up by Brennan. And this one rolls around and uh, jumps right through. So he's uh, three for six right now. 6.9 seconds to go. Tigers have on a full court press look. Taking it out of bounds is Hadley Johnson, who's back into the... No, that was, uh, uh, that was Weber, yeah. Weber, yeah. Weber, and the ball's intercepted by Lincoln. Lincoln, running shot, is over the basket <laughs> at the buzzer. Well, that was a good attempt. <laughs> it was a good attempt. I mean, good defense. For the most part, Thermopolis had handled the pressure until those last few possessions and then kind of let that press get to him. Lander outscores the Bobcats 14-10 to 10 in the second period of play. And our halftime score, Lander Valley 34 and Thermopolis 20. Ernie over along with Kevin Gerber here at Powell, the Bighorn Basin Classic Basketball Tournament. Seven Lazy S Cafe and Bar in Thermopolis invites you to try the best breakfast in Wyoming. Try some of the hit dishes like the biscuits and gravy, the chicken fried steak, and the huevos rancheros. If it translates to ranch eggs, you know it'll be good. Try over 20 breakfast items on the menu. Find the kind of cooking that keeps you wanting more at 109 South 6th Street in Thermopolis. Seven Lazy S Cafe and Bar. Open Friday through Tuesday, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and for dinner, 4.30 to 9 p.m. Thermopolis Hardware and Mercantile is a proud supporter of Bobcats Athletics. There's so much more than a hardware store. You'll find Ashley Furniture and decor perfect for your home. There's a great toy selection as well as tools, kitchen items, grills, and a garden section. That means there's something for everyone at Thermopolis Hardware. Don't forget to check out their variety of custom cabinets, window shading, and flooring. Hi, I'm Karen with Thermopolis Hardware. Buy local, be local. Go Bobcats! Natural Health Solutions offers treatments for a variety of conditions, along with nutritional counseling, chiropractic, acupuncture, and more. Treatment plans designed individually to optimize your health. Call for an appointment, 856-8181, today. Well, in our halftime uh, program uh, this morning, uh, or this afternoon, I should say, by Hot Springs uh, Health in uh, Thermopolis. Uh, we're at half, it's 34 to 20. Lander with the lead over Thermopolis. And this is one of the easiest halftime uh, stats uh, I've uh, been able uh, to do, as we also want to acknowledge Central Wyoming College, where you can now stay at home and earn your Bachelor of Applied Science degree in several programs. Uh, CWC leading the way. Okay, now for the Thermopolis Bobcats, as I was saying, um, this is one of the easiest uh, score books I think I've had in a long time. The <laughs> leading scorer in the first half was Jet Longwell with four. McCoy Longwell with four. Gavin Shumway with four. Dell Dukes with four. And Cody Bomagen with four. Everyone had uh, four points for the uh, Thermopolis uh, Bobcats. That was uh, good even scoring for them. Yeah, but you can also tell they are really missing Cord Simmerall. They have... Yep. They have a different offensive mindset with Cord playing, and he plays really tough. He goes inside. He's not afraid to go inside the paint. 
but he also has had those three-point looks that we watched last week. He can do it all. He's kind of the Brennan Stauffenberg for Lander where you would trust him with the ball in the final seconds. And right now, I don't know who Thermopolis would really trust. Maybe Gavin Shumway. That that might be their best bet. But but right now, the Thermopolis offense looks very different without Cord Cimarron. Absolutely. Lander, on the other hand, Abe Lopez, he hit 11 points right off the bat. Very quickly. At the start of the game on three threes and two field goals. He ends halftime with 13 uh, points, and then it goes down from there. Caleb Bartoni, who came off the bench, he had seven points. We haven't seen Caleb since the first game against uh, the Powell Panthers, first game of the year. Yeah, he had a big coming out party today, and I imagine that um, I believe Kevin Gerber even said it. I think he was in the JV game just kind of balling out, and that's when they said to uh, to him, hey, you know, stay suited up yep. for the uh, varsity game. And I think that he's proven himself right now, and, and, you know, that's all you can ask for someone like that. Brennan Stauffenberg ended up with uh, nine points in the first half, three points by Talon Whelan, and uh, Parker Sixby, uh, two points. But uh, uh, I think uh, Stu Mullins has to be very happy with the way the Tigers started this game, and Lopez just a house of fire, and uh, they pretty much have held the lead uh, by single and, and double points here th most of the period. Yeah, and Thermopolis, you know, we thought they might come out a little rusty. They did not. And a lot of that was stemming from Abe Lopez just coming out and taking control of the game any way he could. Um, if, if Thermopolis can do anything better in the second half, they need to defend Abe Lopez just a little bit tighter. They need to make sure that Brennan does not get inside the paint. And then on the other side of that, if you are Thermopolis' offense, you need to find a way to score points more consistently. You can't be relying on fouls. You can't be relying on penalties to get you to the free throw line. And you're going to have to find a way to do something without Cord Simmerall. You have some big bodies underneath the basket, use it. You know, if you can get Brennan and Abe in foul trouble, that might be your best bet right now. Yeah, Cord uh, averaging uh, over 13 points uh, a game and uh, is out with an illness. He was hoping he might be ready to come today, but they said, no, you're not going to travel. You need to get over that illness. And so, Cord, if you're listening, we hope that uh, you feel better and can be back on the uh, court again for the Cats. Yeah, and, you know, we wish Cord the best, but also Lander's missing a big player themselves. Matt McClung sitting on the bench with an arm brace. I don't know what happened. I'll have to co talk to Coach Stu Mullins after this, but, you know, he's one of their better shooters as well. Or Casey McClung. I'm so, I always yeah. do Matt McClung. <laughs> the NBA player that used to play for the Lakers. But, yeah, Casey McClung uh, with an arm brace, he averages over 10 points a game. He is a big piece of that Lander offense. So Thermopolis and Lander both missing big offensive pieces. Thermopolis right now the only one showing it, though. We'll be back with more of the second half from the Bighorn Basin Tournament in Powell right after this. Lazy S Cafe and Bar in Thermopolis invites you to try the best breakfast in Wyoming. Try some of the hit dishes like the biscuits and gravy, the chicken fried steak, and the huevos rancheros. If it translates to ranch eggs, you know it'll be good. Try over 20 breakfast items on the menu. Find the kind of cooking that keeps you wanting more at 109 South 6th Street in Thermopolis. 7 Lazy S Cafe and Bar. Open Friday through Tuesday, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and for dinner, 4.30 to 9 p.m. Thermopolis Hardware and Mercantile is a proud supporter of Bobcats Athletics. There's so much more than a hardware store. You'll find Ashley Furniture and decor perfect for your home. There's a great toy selection as well as tools, kitchen items, grills, and a garden section. That means there's something for everyone at Thermopolis Hardware. Don't forget to check out their variety of custom cabinets, window shading, and flooring. Hi, I'm Karen with Thermopolis Hardware. Buy local, be local. Go Bobcats! Natural Health Solutions offers treatments for a variety of conditions, along with nutritional counseling, chiropractic, acupuncture, and more. Treatment plans designed individually to optimize your health. Call for an appointment, 856-8181, today. 
Heinz General Store has been the grocery store of choice for the Fort Washakie area since 1945. For this week's special, see their website at HeinzGeneralStore.net. And for convenient shopping this winter, click on Heinz Online, download the app, and shop in the comfort of home. Schedule a convenient pickup time, and the team at Heinz General Store will do the rest. Heinz General Store is a proud sponsor of Wyoming Indian Basketball. Let's go, Chiefs! Ernie over and Sean O'Braid back with you from Powell High School. The Ladder Tigers with a 14-point lead at halftime over Thermopolis, 34-20. to uh, 20. And looking at our starting lineups for the uh, second uh, period, uh, we're going to see a lot of younger players in for the Tigers. They're going to go with Parker Sixby, uh, Talon Whalen, Braden Lincoln, Bennett Washburn, and, of course, Brandon Stauffenberg. And for the Cats, they're going to go with Canyon Gerber, Gavin Shumway, Del Dukes, Ellis Weber, and Cody Bombingen. So uh, those are the starters for the uh, second half as uh, the clock's just about to wind down. Keys for the game, Sean? Well, I mean, like we said earlier, Thermopolis needs to get more inside presence. And if they can, try and find something that Cord Simrall would be doing right now. And if, you are th if you're Lander, you need to keep playing the way you're playing. Brennan Stauffenberg getting inside. Abe Lopez taking some shots. Keep that going if you can. If not, just play that same defense, and uh, you'll be fine. And that does it for the Central Wyoming College Halftime Show, thanks to cwc.edu. Well, the Tigers are taking the floor now. They have the 34-20 to lead. Again, this uh, is the first game. We'll be doing three games this afternoon. We also have Wyoming Indian uh, coming up uh, later this afternoon, right after this game. But that, that'll be on a different radio station. Yes, it will. And, okay. and I was just going to say, we're trying out two different new uh, color guys, so I'm going to hand the headset here to Travis. Travis, you can sit there if you want to. We can just do it like that. Okay. Uh, Travis is uh, going to help us here with the color. The Thermop Bobcats have the uh, first uh, look at the basket today. Shots up off not good by Jet Longwell. Long outlet pass to Parker Sixby. Oh, a nice move, but he shot the ball underneath the uh, basket that time. He was uh, too open. He got too far under the, uh, the basket. Gavin Shumway with it. Hands it off to Hadley Johnson. Back to Shumway for two. Nice uh, shot that time by uh, uh, Shumway, Travis. Yeah, Shumway uh, came off to be a uh, bench and uh, definitely uh, started the second quarter uh, nice. We got a uh, nice rebound by uh, Jet Longwell, and uh, Gavin's now bringing the ball back down for our next uh, look at the basket after a uh, score by the uh, Tigers. Gavin Shumway with six points in the game. The shot's up, not good. Rebound over the back against Thermopolis on the rebound by Bennett Washburn. And the uh, personal foul is going to be whistled. Let's see, waiting for the official here. He's busy telling people to hold on. Foul goes up to Jet Longwell, his third. So the Tigers bring the ball down here. Stauffenberg on a run into the forecourt over to Washburn. Far side, Abe Lopez is in the game now. Lincoln has it on the near side. Back to Stauffenberg. Bounce pass on top, Sixby. Over to Stauffenberg. On top, Abe Lopez just outside the arc. He drives inside the paint and gets the foul. I was going to tell you, we uh, had not very many uh, fouls called this uh, first half, but the uh, second half we've come out and had a, a couple right off the bat. Uh, hopefully Thermopolis can uh, avoid that as the uh, Tigers are definitely an aggressive uh, team moving inside. Tigers have the ball. There's Parker Sixby. Shots up, not good. Clearing the boards off is Shumway. Shumway will bring it down for the Cats. He's on the right side outside. Now fires it uh, across the court to Corbin Simmerall. Back to Shumway outside the arc. Over on the far side, McCoy Longwell. Longwell has it. Stops, drives the baseline, puts up the shot and good. McCoy Longwell now has six points in the game. And that was a nice uh, shot that time. He just set himself. Here's Lincoln under the basket for two off the glass. No, out of bounds, and it'll stay with the Tigers. Well, Thermopolis uh, definitely has come out a little bit more energetic uh, this half. Hopefully they can kind of hold that. Uh, we've uh, cut the lead to 10. Hopefully they can uh, piece that away, although uh, Lander continues to look strong as they set up their out of bounds play. 34-24. There's the inbounds pass to Washburn, who's immediately fouled, and that's going to go against Bombardin. Hetsby, his first foul, and the third 
team foul against the Romulus, uh, so far in the third period. Lander has not committed a foul. So Bennett Washburn goes to the free throw line for the Tigers. Overall, they're shooting 53% from the line. And without uh, Cord Simmerell, we definitely have a, a different mix. Cody uh, Baumingen hasn't uh, played a lot of varsity until these last two weekends, so it's definitely a new look. But I think that the matchup against uh, the Lander uh, number 15 is uh, a little bit better with his uh, side with uh, Cord being gone. Okay, here's the inbounds pass for the Cats. Long in the middle to break the press. Here's Shumway down in the corner on the baseline. Cross court, it uh, goes to Longwell. Longwell can't shoot. Now he does a 360 and shoots. Not good. Rebounded underneath the basket and one for Hadley Johnson. Nice move by Hadley. Hadley Johnson uh, actually started the uh, season with a couple of injuries. He's uh, just uh, this last uh, weekend uh, coming back into play and uh, been playing a little bit more today. So it's nice to see him back in uh, true form. Old-fashioned three-point play here for Johnson is not good. Rebounded by Washburn for the Tigers. We go the other way. Outlet comes down to Abe Lopez. He goes coast to coast and traveled with the ball. Yeah, I was waiting. That was kind of a late call there, wasn't it, Travis? Yeah, it definitely was a late call. I wasn't sure if he's going to call the uh, travel or a block. Yeah, exactly. 5.46 to go, period three. Lander by eight, 34-26 over Thermopolis. Shumway gives it off to Longwell, back to Shumway, as he almost travels with the ball. Brings it into the forecourt now, all the way down to Simmerall. Simmerall underneath the basket. Oh, nice block, but he got him with the body. That was uh, Stauffenberg. Had a nice block, but the body followed through, and it's a personal foul. And for uh, Stauffenberg, that is his first. Bombajan at the line. His first free throw attempt, he has four points. Now five. Interesting uh, tidbit. Uh, the parents of uh, Stauffenberg and Baumann, they coached together uh, about 20 years ago, and to see these two boys playing against each other is kind of fun. Yeah, it certainly is. Of course, uh, Stauffenberg went to, from Thermopolis to Central Wyoming College to coach the girls' team, and then he's now back in Lander. Foul on the other end as Abe Lopez goes up draws the personal, and the whistle against Thermopolis is uh, going to be on Hadley Johnson, and uh, Travis, that's his third. Yeah, I think uh, he's playing a little bit uh, tentative at this point, still kind of favoring that ankle. If you watch him run down the court, he's a little bit sore there, but uh, like I say, we're definitely seeing a lot more moving and uh, offensive effort uh, from him where we haven't the last couple weeks. Lopez misses both, but Parker Sixby gets the rebound on the far side. Washburn under the basket, has the ball thrown away. Turnover by Lander, quickly down court. We go the other way, Simmerall with it. Stops at the baseline, shoots, and it's an air ball. And the rebound goes to Thermopolis on the far side. Some fancy footwork there kept the ball in the hands of the Cats. Here's Shumway, shots off the iron, not good. Rebounded by Washburn, and he falls out of bounds, and Thermopolis has it underneath the basket. Well, Travis, you said it. The pace has certainly picked up in this game. Well, and uh, like I say, uh, Thermopolis just uh, playing with a little bit more confidence. The intensive, or, uh, defensive intensity of uh, Landers, I think, a little bit suffocating that first half, but I think they've kind of settled down and uh, coming back. So hopefully uh, Lander can kind of uh, regroup this uh, quarter and uh, come back and show the uh, presence they had previously. Just over halfway through the third period, Lander 34, Thermopolis 27. Here's the inbounds pass to uh, Simmerall. Simmerall, Simmerall, and he gets it. It's a nice three, and it's a four-point game, 34-30. to 30. The Cats are crawling their way back in this. There's a turnover by Lander. We have a one-on-two. Simmerall underneath loses the basket. There's the rebound. It goes to Lander. Washburn comes away with it down court to Lopez. Lopez does a 360 in the lane. Off the 6B for two. No. It bounces off. 6B just didn't have enough uh, oomph on that one, Kevin. 
No, he uh, definitely uh, didn't, but I thought it, he might have enough roll that it uh, rolled in, but unfortunately rolled out. Yeah, here's Sixby now with the inbounds pass. Cross court it goes to Whalen. Whalen with the ball at the free throw line, kicks it out on top to Stauffenberg for three. Hits the back of the iron. Not good. Rebound. Thermop can pull within a couple here, or maybe even one with a three-point basket. 4-10 to go here. Second uh, half of play in the third period. 34-30. There's McCoy Longwell on top to Shumway. Shumway launches a three. That's a it's deep oh! three. NBA three, Shumway. <laughs> yeah, and it's a one-point game. First three of the game by Shumway. 34-33. to The Cats have Clawed all the way back. Here's Washburn in the middle, and a player control foul is going to be called on Washburn. And Lander coach Stu Mullins calls timeout. Yeah, I don't know. That was Want access to local news, sports, events, and more? Download the Wyo Today app. Now available on all platforms. Stream your favorite radio station, submit something to buy, sell, or trade for deals on the dial, or view contests and special coupons. Better yet, the Wyo Today app is the best way to access free HD video of Fremont and Hot Springs County Athletics. It's all at your fingertips. Head to your app store or visit yotoday.com to download the Yo Today app now. Back again, uh, Erdy Over and uh, Travis. Travis, I didn't get your last name. Bombingen. Bombingen. Oh, well, no wonder you know Bombingen. <laughs> Travis Bombagen uh, with us on the color here for uh, this portion of the uh, basketball game. Uh, we're trying out a couple new announcers for Thermopolis so we can get the Cats uh, back on the radio every week. Three and a half minutes to go, third period, one-point lead by Lander. Here's Shumway in the far side, bounce pass underneath the Bombagen, traveled. No, a player control foul. Well, I didn't see that one. I don't know if it was on him or... Uh, I think yeah. it was on Johnson. That's yep. his fourth. That's yeah. un unfortunate. He may have to uh, take a breather and possibly come back in the fourth. Yeah, Brody Potter is going to be uh, coming in for him shortly. Yeah, we saw a lot in the Rollins at the tournament down there. Uh, he came in and did a great job in the second half. And coming out of the game for Thermopolis is Hadley Johnson. So Tigers have the ball leading by one, 3.22 to go. Washburn over to Stauffenberg, over to Lopez. Lopez stops in the corner. Whalen for three. It's too long. Rebounded underneath by Washburn. Kicks it out to Lopez. Behind him to Stauffenberg. Stauffenberg is tripped, falls down, and now Lopez trips. Puts up the shot. It drops. Abe Lopez, perseverance, gets the shot now with 15 points. And it's 36-33. Lander by three over the Bobcats. Down court, McCoy Longwell brings it into the forecourt on the right-hand wing. Stops, throws it down court. Ball's knocked away, but uh, McCoy Longwell comes up with it again. 2.39 to go in the third. Lander 36, Theropolis 33. Far side, that's uh, Simmerall on top. Shumway for three. No, it misses the mark. Ball's on the floor. Picked up by Stauffenberg. Three on two. Underneath it goes. Can't shoot. Whistle and a foul on Thermopolis. Yeah, Stoffmer got the ball right in the middle of the key, ready to go up, and he got leveled by uh, Simmerall on that play. And for Simmerall, that's his uh, third personal foul. Yeah, we started off the first half, not a lot of fouls, but this uh, half we're uh, t seeming to pick it up, but pick up the pace a little bit. Yeah, when the uh, play seems a little faster on the court, the whistles are, <laughs> are more, uh, come more frequently. I agree. <laughs> Parker Sixby into the game. Ab Lopez comes out for Lander. 2.21 to go. Tigers have it. Braden Lincoln out of bounds. Inbounds to Whalen. On top to Sixby. Over to Lincoln on the far side. Bounce pass underneath to Washburn. He's in the lane. Puts up the shot. It rolls off the side. Not good. Summerall with the rebound for the Cats. Down to Longwell. 
Longwell stops outside the arc. Back to Simmerall around to Shumway. Oh, he threw it to Bombajin who wasn't ready for it. Turnover Thermopolis, seventh turnover of the, of, of the game. <coughs> so Stauffenberg will bring it down now for the Tigers. We have Cats versus Cats here today. Big Cats and Little Cats. Little Cats, of course, being the Bobcats. There's a shot up and off not good. The Big Cats being the Tigers. Thermopolis has the ball, a minute 45 to go, 36-33, lander by three. There's Shumway. Shumway drives in, takes a floater. No, yes, it goes in. That ends the uh, scoring drive. We out, went almost two minutes without a score on either side. And there's a long pass down court that's knocked out of bounds. They say last touched by Sixby, so it'll go to Thermopolis. The Cats trailing by one, 36-35, minute 29 to go here, third period of play. Lander putting on some half-court pressure. McCoy Longwell in the backcourt gets it to Bombajan. Down court it uh, goes uh, to Dukes. Dukes loses the ball to Shumway for three in and out. Not good. Rebounded by Whalen for Lander. Long pass down court to Pixby, and he's fouled under the basket by Shumway. Or not over the basket on the, on the sideline. Ernie, I've not watched the uh, Lander Tigers. How, how tall is uh, Washburn? Washburn is 6'3". Okay. He's the same height as uh, Stauffenberg, okay. although he looks taller because he's skinnier. <laughs> yeah, Stauffenberg, uh, he's definitely uh, quick and uh, dominates the court when he's going down the court with the ball, for sure. And Stauffenberg has the more hair, too. <laughs> <laughs> Parker Sixby at the free throw line for the Tigers. He has two points in the game on a first period basket, and that's nothing but nylon that time. So he'll get one more. Goes a two-point lead by the Tigers now, 37-35. Minute 13 to go, third period of play. Nice tough battle here today in Powell. Next shot, good. So Sixby gets them both, and again a three-point lead by the Lander Tigers. Tigers trying to keep them up in the backcourt, but that's not successful. Ball is knocked away. Picked up by the Tigers. Braden Lincoln underneath the basket. Shoots and is fouled. Uh, that Tiger full court uh, pressure uh, definitely getting to the uh, Thermopolis Bobcats with that uh, turnover. Well, that's what the Tigers did uh, when they played up in uh, Douglas at the uh, Douglas Classic. They had that really sticky defense, and, of course, they beat the then unbeaten uh, Bearcats. Braden Lincoln at the free throw line for Lander. He hits it. Yeah, that was uh, definitely an impressive win over the uh, Bob or the. Uh, the Bearcats, as uh, Douglas has been beating a lot of the 4A teams the last couple of weeks. Yeah, Lander had uh, put a full game together. They came from behind, but uh, it was enough to win the game in the last two minutes. Lincoln's next shot, good. He got them both. So he has two points in the game now, and it's a five-point lead by the Tigers, 40-35. to 35. Here's McCoy uh, Longwell over to Shumway. Shumway back to Longwell on the left side outside. Longwell bouncing the ball, guarded by Whalen, moves across the key, and now behind him goes back over to Dukes. Around the horn, there's Shumway. Shumway has it. it. Looked like he wanted to take a three. He's in the lane, takes a shot off the glass. No. Rebound out of bounds, and it will go to Lander. 31 seconds to go here in the third period of play. Thermopolis had uh, brought the game to within one point, but Lander's back up by five now, 40 to 35. Let's see if the Tigers go for the last shot here. Now, Thermopolis definitely uh, controlled the first part of the quarter, but uh, Lander's definitely uh, stepped up the last couple of minutes to uh, re regain kind of control of the game. Parker 6B from the corner is not good. I thought they were going to go for the last one, but he shot that with 13 seconds. So here comes uh, Longwell down court. McCoy Longwell loses the basketball. Three seconds to go. Shot by Wayland is off the glass, but not good enough. And that will be the end of the third period of play. And the score, the Lander Tigers only had six points in that quarter. They are now at 40 and uh, 15 points for the Cats. They are at 35. That is uh, the end of our third period of play and we'll be back with more from Powell right after this. Court to the pool and beyond. Fremont County athletes give their blood, sweat and tears for their teammates and community. Why compromise that with alcohol or marijuana? 
Help your athlete make the most of their playing time by avoiding the dangers and impact that substance use can have on their performance and future. For more resources and information, visit FremontCountyPrevention.com. Back again, Ernie over and uh, Sean O'Bright. <coughs> Sean does pretty good uh, interviews here we had on the air yes. with, uh, with our, our two candidates. Yeah, we are trying everything to make sure that Thermopolis gets all the coverage they deserve. Um, we really love the Bobcats and the Lady Bobcats. Thermopolis is such a great place to live and to go to school. And, you know, we have a lot of sponsors that are up there, Lazy 7S or 7 Lazy S and one-Eyed Buffalo, all sorts of good sponsors. Pinnacle Bank of America. We just, we really want to make sure that Thermopolis gets all the coverage. So we're trying out Kevin and Travis. Here's Lopez on a drive to the basket. Shot is a little bit too short. Rebounded by McCoy Longwell. Outlet pass to Shumway. Shumway stops just inside the arc on the right side. A cross court pass is intercepted. Uh, and that was Bartoli that gets the interception. Off to Stauffenberg. Brennan hands it back to uh, Bartoni, far side to Whalen. Now on top to Lopez, over to Whalen again. Whalen stops underneath the basket. Stauffenberg to the near side. Bartoni drives, doesn't shoot off to Lopez for three. It's a little bit too short. Rebounded by Bomagen. Oh, look at this. One on one, down court. Dukes misses the basket. A little bit too much energy there. Knocks the ball out of bounds, and the Tigers will have it. And that was their main issue, especially that late in that game against Rollins and then later in the day against Pinedale. They were missing those easy one-on-one -on -one layups or even the free layups that they were given just right underneath the basket. And instead of uh, two points there, they get a turnover. So that's something you can't do if you want to win this game. Lopez brings it into the forecourt for the Tigers off to Stauffenberg to Bartoni. Bartoni over to Lopez for three. No. After those first threes he hit, he's been dry underneath the basket. Is Lopez puts up the shot and it doesn't roll in and he's fouled. And you know, I just had I, I walked down to uh, talk to someone in the midst of that third in in between the third and fourth period, and I heard Coach Stu Mullins telling his lander team, "You got to be tougher under the basket." So. Right off the bat, you know, they're being tough under the basket on offense and defense. Lopez has 15 points in the game. Now that free throw makes it 16. Nice group of fans from Lander here this afternoon. Uh, took the nice drive up to the Northern Bighorn Basin. And, uh, Sean, it was really shocking. Uh, we got the closer we got to Cody and Powell, no snow. Yeah, there was absolutely no snow on the mountains. And look at that. We got a timeout on Thermopolis to make sure that he doesn't turn the ball over. And we will be right back. 35 42, Lander 616 left in the game. Are you a caring person that wants to help but not sure where to go? Wyoming Senior Citizen Inc. is looking for caregivers across the state. Call 307 856 6880 to find out more information. They would like to wish all Fremont County athletes good luck this year. A well-drawn-up game plan can be the difference between wins and losses. The same can be said about your mental health. Making a game plan to talk to your children can make a huge impact on them and help make them feel supported and listened to. The good news is this winning game plan isn't hard to implement. All it takes is you starting the conversation and being ready to talk. If you need helpful resources and tools, you can visit FremontCountyPrevention.com. For a place to relax, sip on your favorite specialty lattes or tea, and find the best gifts for any occasion, Storyteller is the place for you. Books brimming with compelling stories, gifts for the kids like Legos and coloring projects, and something for your family and friends like hats, jewelry, or a bag of award-winning Mountain Air Roasted Jackrabbit Java. To learn more, visit StorytellerYO.com or swing by at 524 Broadway in Thermopolis. Tigers have got the ball. 
The Tigers have got the ball. Coming down, it's Braden Lincoln off to Stauffenberg after a failed uh, attempt at two by Thermopolis. There's Whalen, launches a three that's too long, not good. Jet rebounds and is fouled. Jet Longwell and the uh, first personal foul is, uh, or the personal foul against Stauffenberg is second. Yeah, and you know, we were wondering who was going to step up with Court Simmerall being out. And, you know, I thought maybe McCoy might be it. I thought maybe Jet might be it. Gavin Shumway's really stepped up as well, and Jet has made himself known underneath the basket so far. Here's McCoy. McCoy Longwell off to his buddy, uh, Gavin Shumway. Back over to McCoy on top to Shumway. Shumway stops outside the arc on the near side. Back over to Shumway in the corner. McCoy underneath Bomagen. Long pass to uh, nice Simmerall. Move. Oh, too short. And Bomagen with the rebound gets to his seventh point of the game, and it's 42 37. Here's Lincoln under the basket, passes in the corner. Underneath it goes. There's a shot by Bartoni that's too small. Rebound, not good, and the foul on Thermopolis. Lincoln draws the personal foul under the basket. And, you know, Thermopolis had a really good look at that rebound and instead kind of went for the, the, the next block. If so, you know, they thought maybe if he gets the ball, go up and block it and ended up fouling him instead. you got to go up and you got to reach for those rebounds a little bit tougher if you want to win this game. Braden Lincoln looking for his third point of the game, and he gets it. Nothing nylon there. 5.03 to go in the game. Lander 43, Thermopolis 37. Another free throw attempt is just like the first one. Nothing but net. 44-37, and a timeout called on the floor, and we'll be back after this. Natural Health Solutions offers treatments for a variety of conditions, along with nutritional counseling, chiropractic, acupuncture, and more. Treatment plans designed individually to optimize your health. Call for an appointment, 856-8181, today. Your car or truck is an investment. When it needs repairs, you need someone you can trust to do the job right. Take it to Gunners Automotive. They repair all makes and models of cars and trucks, from oil changes to brakes, tires, and more. Gunners Automotive, 856-2288. One-Eyed Buffalo Brewing Company is proud to sponsor this broadcast of Thermopolis Athletics. Enjoy some of the finest prime rib around at One-Eyed Buffalo every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You cannot beat their menu full of mouth-watering items like the bison burger or the many different varieties of mac and cheese. Top it off with one of their locally brewed adult refreshments on tap. One-Eyed Buffalo Brewing Company, 528 Broadway in Thermopolis. Ernie Over and Sean O'Brate back with you. The Thermopolis Bobcats will have the ball in the backcourt. They trail by 7, 44-37, 5.03 to go in the game. Long pass down uh, to uh, Simmerall. Back to Shumway now. Shumway to Simmerall. Cross-court pass over to McCoy Longwell to uh, Shumway. Shumway back to McCoy. McCoy drives the baseline or drives in the lane, puts the shot off the glass. It bounces around oh. and no. Rebounded by Stauffenberg for Lander. Long pass down court. There's no one there. Shots up. Oh, and missing the layup is Whalen. Thermopolis with the rebound, and there's a steal by the Tigers. Stauffenberg, three on one, whistle, and we've got a foul going to be called on uh, Simmerall for Thermopolis. And I honestly am kind of with Simmerall right now that he was standing with his feet planted, and Stauffenberg didn't even have the ball in his hand when he fouled Simmerall. He had passed the ball behind his back. And by the time that the ball got to the other Tiger that he was passing to, Simmerall took a charge and is instead uh, called for the blocking foul. And now Simmerall is on the bench. Yeah, with four fouls. And Stauffenberg at the free throw line. This is the best performance by Brennan from the free throw line on a while. He's uh, three for six, 50%. Well, this is, I say that, Why he misses you that? one. You just, you love to jinx these Lander Tigers. <laughs> Brennan back up to the free throw line, 427 to go in the game, Lander by seven. Next shot, this one's nothing but nylon. So he gets one of two, and Lander now leading by eight, 45-37. Here's uh, McCoy Longwell, down court to Bomagen, lays it up. Oh, it's blocked, and a foul is going to be called on Bartoni. 
Got him with the hand. Caleb Bartoni, who had a pretty good uh, JV game, picks up his third personal foul. That was still, if you are, if your coach, Shane, you got to think that that is the best looking play that you've called in the second half. The good passing to get you open, and then the lane, the Euro step to get in underneath the basket. That was by far the prettiest, nicest, most well executed play that Thermopolis has had since the second half started. Maybe that can give him some momentum here. And there is one of two, two of two from the free throw line for Bombajin. So Bombajin makes it uh, a, a six point game, 45 39. We're halfway through the fourth period of play, 4 12 to go. Stauffenberg off to 6B to Bartoni on top. Lincoln has it, almost lost it to 6B. 6B stops over to Stauffenberg on the right wing. Stauffenberg to Lincoln. Looked in the corner, but popped it on top to Lopez. Lopez over to Stauffenberg, now on the left wing. Across court it goes. Bartoni for three. It's an air ball. Anthropopoulos pulls the uh, ball out of the uh, air. Hadley Johnson, playing with four fouls, gets the rebound. Down court, McCoy Longwell in the middle. There's a shot by Johnson. That's good. Hadley Johnson and Thermopolis calls timeout. It's 3.33 to go in the game, Shane. 40, or Sean, 45-41, Lander. You need an oil change but you don't have a lot of time. Expressway Lubes on South Federal in Riverton and Highway 789 in Lander provide a fast, professional lube oil and filter change. Expressway Lubes, locally owned and proud to support our local student-athletes. From one corner of the state to the other, over 82% of Wyomingites wear their seatbelts. And to the 18% who don't, we say, let's buckle up for life, Wyoming. When repairs are complete after a collision, you expect your car, SUV, or truck to look like new. That's the service you'll receive at Stork Auto Body in Riverton. Professionalism and meticulous attention to detail. You can depend on Stork Auto Body, 841 Miniweb Avenue, Riverton. Here's Stauffenberg with the ball over to Lopez on the right-hand wing. Back to Brennan. He looks for the corner but doesn't go there. Goes across the key to Lopez. Lopez moves in the paint over to Bartoni. Back over to Parker Sixby. Back to Lopez in the corner, far side outside. He's given some directions now. Lopez makes a move toward the basket. Puts up a shot, draws the foul. He'll have two free throws. Nice drive by Abe Lopez. Yeah, he got behind the back, in between the legs. He did everything he could to be flashy and then went up and got the foul. The only thing that would have been better is if he had gotten the points first. Longwell, McCoy gets the foul, his second. Ten personal fouls. The Tigers are in the double bonus. Abe Lopez at the free throw line. Still a four-point game. The free throw didn't go. Next shot is up by Lopez, and this one does go. So he gets one of two, and it's a five-point game, 46-41. Three minutes to go in the game. McCoy Longwell down court to Bombajin. Off to Hadley Johnson. Or Hadley, yeah, Hadley Johnson. Uh, underneath the basket, ball's knocked out of bounds by Stauffenberg. Nice defensive play there by Stauffenberg. Yeah, Stauffenberg's played really good defense, really good offense today, too. A pretty complete game, and that's exactly what Lander kind of needs, especially with McClung out. Him and Abe are playing at another level right now. 2.47 to go in the game. Lander will have the ball in the backcourt. Oh, no, they, I'm sorry, it's Thermopolis. Here's the long inbounds pass to Shumway. 2.47 to go. <laughs> that was a long one, three-quarters of the way down the court. Shumway. On top of the arc now, over to Longwell. Longwell moves it in, stops under the basket. Uh, ball picked up by Bombajan, knocked away, picked up by Bartoni. Lander has it, two on two. Here's Lopez at the basket, scores! And a player control foul wow. on Lopez. That might be huge right now as far as momentum goes, as well as penalties. Abe Lopez might be the best player on the court right now, and he is going to be approaching foul trouble soon. He has three in the game after that last player control foul. Got to hand it to Thermopolis. They're getting in position and holding their position to draw those charges. Yes, they are. 2.23 to go. Here's Longwell over to Shumway. Shumway stops on top of the arc. Bach over to Longwell to Shumway. 
things. Shumway bounce pass in the middle to Jet Longwell. Whistle, and we have a foul going to be called. I guess on Bartoni. I guess correct. No, it's not on Bartoni. It's on Parker Sixby. I didn't even see Parker in the play there, but he picks up his first, and that'll take the one in bonus as uh, Jet Longwell goes to the free throw line. He's got the first one, and he'll get the second one. 46-42, four-point lead, 2.09 to go. Jet Longwell at the line for the Cats. Shots up, good. And Thermopolis doesn't mind getting all their points uh, from the free throw line. They're stopping the clock, too, and letting themselves get a break and get into position defensively. Yeah, if you're the coach, you want your team to be scoring points when the clock isn't moving, and that's what's been happening. Here is uh, Bartoni over to Lopez. Two minutes to go in the game. Lincoln has it. Now to Bartoni, just outside the arc on the left wing. On top, Sixby. Back to Bartoni. Lopez has it now. Lincoln in the corner, Sixby. Sixby oh, wow, does a, a move. nice move, throws it back to Lincoln. He almost made himself open. Lincoln underneath to Bartoni for two. Wow. Nice assist that by was a, Lincoln. That was just a nice sequence of events right there for Lander. It was really pretty everything. And then the steal by Lincoln. Lincoln has it underneath. Ab Lopez behind his back, kind of a, well, what do you call it, a windmill pass. 50 to 43, Lander by seven. Shumway, player control foul as he just crashed into the Tigers underneath the Thermopolis basket. Yeah, and you know, they're not calling charges, they're calling player control fouls. That's right. something different, and, and it doesn't really matter. The thing is, is they've got to know that these Lander Tigers are willing to take these charges right now because it's getting them the ball with seven points up in a minute and 20 seconds left. Shane Corpering, the uh, head coach of Thermopolis, finds his team down by seven with a minute 18 to go. 50 to 43. Here come the Tigers. Lopez on the far side outside. Lopez stops on top to Bartoni. Over to Stauffenberg. Stauffenberg to Lopez. Lopez drives in the lane. Shots up. Not good. He draws the foul. Abe is so good at doing that, he'll just drive through the lane and draw the foul. Yeah, he's just really good at getting inside the paint. That might be his best attribute here. And, you know, Coach, Coach Mullins was talking about um, limiting his, his turnovers because, honestly, that's the only thing with his game that Coach Stu Mullins can coach up at this point. He's playing literally probably one of the best players on the court and in pal right now. Eight-point lead, the free throw's good, and the second free throw not good. Bombajan with the rebound. One minute to go in the game. Lander 51, Thermopolis 43. Oh. And Shumway loses the ball in the backcourt, picks it back up. Longwell has it now. McCoy Longwell and Lopez reaches in. Well, it's either Long Lopez or Washburn. I believe it was. It was Lopez gets yeah. the foul. That's his second. And the Thermopolis... And we'll Lander's be at the one and bonus. Lander's okay with this being up nine, going to the free throw line. He, you know, they could have shot a three or they could have done something else. And uh, Lander's actually going to call a time. Oh, Thermopolis is going to call a timeout, maybe get a play call going for whenever they get the ball back. The staff and board at the free Fremont County Fair wish to thank everyone who attended the fair this year. Whether you enjoyed family day, a night event, entered a craft show, or showed your livestock, thank you for all your efforts. We'll be moving and grooving next year, so stay tuned. It's more than clocking in or collecting a paycheck. We are a network of caring professionals who want to be here, dedicated to serving our communities. We are Sage West Healthcare, our two campus hospitals in Riverton and Lander. We take pride in our region, our people, and our communities. Located in beautiful central Wyoming, filled with natural recreation in our own backyard. We are neighbors caring for neighbors, a community caring for its own. We are Sage West. We are recruiting the best, like you. Ernie over, Sean O'Brate back on our Pinnacle Bank scoreboard. It's Lander 51, Thermopolis 43, and we have 50 seconds to go in the game, and it will be McCoy Longwell at the free throw line. He has a total of six points in the game. This is his first free throw. McCoy Longwell, shots up and not good. Rebound is caught by the Tigers. Boy, that was a, 
a tight roll back by Bartoni. Long pass down to Washburn. Washburn doesn't go to the basket. Kicks it out to Stauffenberg. Back over to Bartoni on top to Lopez. They 35 fouling, seconds Bobcats. to go. Yeah, there's Stauffenberg off to Washburn, and he gets the draws the foul. Bombagen. And it will be Bombagen's Cody's second personal foul. I mean, if you're down nine and there's 48 seconds after you miss the free throw, you got about five seconds to play stout defense in the in the backcourt. And if you can't, you got to start fouling as soon as they cross the line. And they're lucky right there he missed the free throw, but they took about 20 seconds off the clock. They could have easily fouled about 15 seconds ago if they knew they were going to get to the paint. Bennett, zero of three in the game from the line. Now he hits that one. See the reverse psychology there. <laughs> And uh, it's 52-43, nine-point lead, 25 seconds to go. Tigers uh, have this one, and they'll be in uh, shape uh, for Ooh. the – Oh, what a block by Stauffenberg on the shot by McCoy Longwell. But Lander with the win here has a chance to move on in this uh, tournament to play the number two team here later. Here's Shumway. Shumway with 15 seconds, fires uh, off – key. Ball out of bounds. It'll stay with Thermopolis as Washburn knocked that one out. Ten seconds to go. 52-43. Lander with the big lead here. And you know, Thermopolis played a pretty okay game, especially in that third quarter. They did really well in the beginning of this fourth. It's just all falling apart here at the end, especially defensively. McCoy Longwell lays it up. No, not good. Whistle. And a foul is going to be called. Wait, well, we have, I guess it was uh, possession. Lander will have possession, or do we have a foul? And they're talking about it right now, the refs. They know they have four seconds left. Yeah. And he's talking to Coach Shane. Well, it's Lander's ball under the basket, four seconds to go. The mop full court pressure. There's Lopez in the backcourt just holding the ball, and that's the game. And our final score, Lander Valley 52 scoring uh, 12 points in that uh, quarter. And the Thermopolis uh, Bobcats ended up, what was their score? They already wiped it off the score, but 43. So they scored eight points in that uh, quarter. We'll be back right after this. Jay Collins here, and I want to wish all the Fremont County athletes good luck this year. Stop down at Fremont Chevy to talk sports and let me help you purchase your next vehicle. Jay Collins, your local sales professional at Fremont Chevy Buick GMC. 307-349-7846. Central Wyoming College now offers Bachelor of Applied Science degrees in Early Childhood Education and Organizational Management and Leadership with an emphasis in Outdoor Education, Tribal Leadership, or Business and Entrepreneurial Leadership. CWC offers three ways to learn, online, virtual, and in person. Learn, grow, lead, and advance at Central Wyoming College. CWC is leading the way with expanded programs in the Bachelor of Applied Science degrees. Why should you choose Lander Medical Clinic or Western Family Care for your health care? In addition to four locations in Fremont County, they also provide telehealth. Telehealth can be your go-to answer when you're out of town, on the road, or just can't get to urgent care. All you need is a good internet connection. To schedule a telehealth appointment, call 332-2941 today. That's 332-2941. Lander Medical Clinic and Western Family Care. With telehealth, they're putting your health first every time. Ernie Over and Sean O'Brate back in Powell High School where the Lander Valley Tigers have won the first game of the Bighorn uh, Basin uh, Tournament. 52-43, uh, to 43, a nine-point win over the Bobcats. Leading the Tigers scoring, Abe Lopez with 21 points. Uh, Brennan Stauffenberg uh, with 11 Caleb Bartoni coming off uh, the bench. Nine points uh, today. Four points each for Parker Sixby and uh, Braden Lincoln. And one point for Bennett Washburn. For the Cats, leading scorer was Gavin Shumway. He had 11 points in the game. The only Cat in double figures. Although Cody Bomagen almost hit double figures. He ended up with nine. Six points each by Jet Longwell and McCoy Longwell. Four points for Hadley Johnson and Dell Dukes. 
and three points for Corbin Simmeral. Our final score again, 43 to 52. And we want to remind you that the One-Eyed Buffalo is presenting this post-game show for you here today from Powell. We've got, uh, you know, doing Thermopolis and uh, Lander, uh, mixed sponsors. So we yeah. appreciate <laughs> all the sponsors uh, doing this. We really our, do. Our final Pinnacle Bank scoreboard, 52 Lander, 43. Yeah, and, you know, those those stats presented by One-Eyed Buffalo really show something, and that is that almost anyone on Lander's team can score. You know, you had nine points by Bartoni, or you had uh, Brennan Stauffenberg had 11. You had Abe have 21. You know, anyone on this Lander team, even with McClung out, can score, whereas you kind of go over to the Thermopolis side, and they were looking for someone to step up. And um, Gavin Shumway had 11, but for the most part, outside of Bomagen with nine, it was all kind of kind of, you know, pick and choose who you want to try and get a two-pointer here and there. They really missed that offensive mindset by Cord and uh, let's see if they can put something different together in their next game. Okay, and we do have another game coming up here uh, this afternoon, but uh, first of all, we want to remind you of our player of uh, the uh, game and for the uh, Lander Valley Tigers uh, with the, uh, which one are you going to, Papa Murphy here? Yeah, I think we'll get the Papa Murphy to Abe. He obviously started off the Lander Tigers hot as a button, man. He, he was shooting threes and lights out for that first two quarters. He was, uh, he was almost impossible to stop. What do you have, 11 points in the first two quarters alone? Oh, well, in the, the first, first quarter. Uh, first quarter, yeah. He had 11 points in the first quarter. I mean, that is, that is the same amount that Gavin Shumway had in the whole game, and he was their leading scorer. So Abe, definitely Papa Murphy's player of the game here. As far as our Gatorade player of the game, we will give it to Gavin, not only because he was the leading scorer for Thermopolis, but, you know, he had a lot uh, to do on the defensive end, and uh, he was the guy that obviously picked up the sticks and tried to do what, what him and Cord were doing last week in Rollins. He just had to do it by himself for the most part. Maybe they'll get someone like, uh, like Hadley Johnson or, or McCoy Longwell or Jet Longwell in the next game to really, really step up, but... Gavin Shumway, our Gatorade player of the game. For the uh, Thermopolis Bobcats, thank you for joining us this afternoon on 93.1 KFCW and uh, viewing on YO Today YouTube. We appreciate all those folks who have uh, tuned in. Our next game here today is going to be uh, the Wyoming Indian uh, Chiefs against uh, the Thermopolis Bobcats. That's coming up at 3 o'clock, and that'll be on uh, KWYW 99.1. And uh, stay tuned uh, for that coming up here in about uh, an hour and uh, a half. Again, our final score, Lander Valley Tigers 52, moving their record now to five wins and two losses. And the Thermopolis Bobcats 43, moving their record to three wins and six losses. And we have uh, Coach Stu Mullins coming up uh, right now to uh, talk with us. So let's uh, let's uh, talk with uh, Coach Mullins. Well, congratulations, Coach. You had an opportunity to play a lot of players today. Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, you know, I'm sure you guys uh, could see Kaysen's out um, and uh, broke his arm in practice the other day. So he broke his arm. Yep. So he's got to have surgery on Monday and. That was a big loss, you know, and emotionally uh, just kind of took it, takes its toll. And, um, you know, and, and he was so good for us, you know, offensively and, and especially defensively. That's where we're going to miss him. And so it was awesome. He surprised the boys today and, and uh, came up to watch. And so um, we're hoping to get him back maybe by the end of the season, but um, we're, just ho we're just hoping for him. So I was really proud of the boys for, you know, almost nearly 30 days off. Um, you know, we, we had some rhythm early offensively and then, you know, struggled a little bit uh, the rest of the game. But I was really proud of our defensive effort. Well, Abe Lopez um, set the torch on fire. 11 points almost in a row yeah. to get the Tigers on a, a really good jump start. Yeah, he can get pretty streaky, um, you know, and uh, it's, you know, you almost know those are going in in the first quarter when he gets a little bit of rhythm and, um you know, we'd like we'd like it to be a little bit more consistent, and we'll get him there. How about uh, Caleb Bartoni? Tell us a little bit about Caleb. Yeah, so um, you know, Caleb is one of our hardest working kids, and um, he actually started the very first game of the, the season yeah. for us, and um, 
had had some uh, you know personal issues and some team issues that he had to work through, and um, he's he's answered the challenge, and we really need him, um, and so I, I've been really proud of the way he's he's come back, and um, you know we're we're still working him back into the game, but uh, you can see just the energy that he brings and rebounding and finishing around the rim. He's just he's a, he's a really solid player for us. Braden Lincoln had a pretty good floor game uh, today. He was there uh, doing some assists and uh, moving the ball around. Yeah, Braden is so good for us on the defensive end. Um, he's always in perfect position, whether he's on the wing or the top for us, and um, just creates a lot of havoc. You know, you got to be strong with the ball around him. And if you're not, he'll take it from you. You had good luck at the free throw line tonight. Yeah, what were we? Uh, you were 2, 4, 6, 8. 10, 12, 14, 14, 15 free throws, and you only missed two, three. Two, five, six. Yeah, 15 to three, that's not too bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 15 I, of 18, yeah. That's a big point of emphasis for us is to get to the line um, a lot more, and we did today, and, um, you know, refs, refs were calling fouls, which is kind of nice sometimes, so... Um, yeah, you know, and, and now it's just a matter of making sure that we finish those. And, you know, they made a run at us, and, and we had to make some free throws, and we did. Well, you know, each team will have a run during the game. Yep. And, and Thermopolis came back. They were really scrappy there to start the third period. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think they went on a 9-0 run, and we talked about it and, uh, you know, called some timeouts. And, and they're a good team. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They they are uh, they've got a really good program right now, top to bottom, um, you know, and they uh, uh, they're they're, they're going to be a force in our in our side. I, I really believe that. I mean, they beat Lyman a couple or last weekend, and Lyman is a really good team, and uh, they played with Buffalo really really tough at their place, and so you know, I, I, that's a great win for us. I mean, Thermop is a really good team. Their record is not indicative of of how good they are. Yeah, and their JV team uh, pulled a surprise on uh, the Lander Tiger JVs, too. Yeah, I don't know if you watched that game, but, yep. yeah, we, we had, I think, a 13-point lead at one point, and they slapped a press on us, and kids uh, got a little nervous there or worried, and uh, we'll be better for it. The good thing is we get to play these guys again. Yeah, exactly. Well, you've got Wyoming Indian later on. That'll be an interesting game. Yeah, yeah, it's been a long time since we've played them. I don't know if I've played them since I've been in Lander, and uh, – yeah, the, you know, they just bring a, a present a different style that you have to adjust, but we have a lot of kids that understand that as well. So uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be a great game. I'm excited yeah. for it. Stu Mullins, thank you for coming up uh, today. We uh, appreciate it. Uh, congrats awesome. on the victory. Thanks. You bet. Okay, and we have got... Uh, and we are going to switch... We're going to switch genres here. We're going to go to the Papa Murphy's player of the game, Abe Lopez. First off, uh, tell us, Abe, just how it feels. You haven't played basketball in almost a month. How does it feel right now? Uh, I feel like I just wanted to get back in the groove because I've seen so many like teams playing over the week, and we, our game got canceled because of the weather. And I just wanted to get back out here. Yeah, definitely. You know, you can't help the weather, but you can always uh, – put up some shots in practice and it seems like you were doing so you immediately came out and scored three straight three pointers what was going on in your mind did you just come out thinking you were going to automatically go Steph Curry on everyone um I don't know it like at halftime I was kind of thinking to myself it kind of felt like a dream because everything just kept sinking you know everything just was in perfect flow well, hey, you know, Case and McClung, I, we just heard he broke his arm in practice, so you and Brennan and a couple other guys are going to have to step up. What does Case and bring to the to the court that you and the other guys are going to have to start to uh, mirror and bring to the court because he can't? Case and just brings brings a whole other energy. And, like, at practice the other day, we, me and Brennan was talking, we was like, the energy is off because Case and wasn't there. And we just got to bring our own energy and our own intensity and we got to put up numbers for Kaysen because Kaysen put up big numbers. Yes, yes, he does. And you did too today, 21 points. A lot of them came inside the uh, the paint there. You were able to get some Euro steps, get some behind the backs. Is that just what something that you really like to do to try and get into the paint? Um, I, it just depends on who's in the paint and who's guarding me. I just, I just go off that. 
Cool. Well, hey, ha you're going to play Wyoming Indian later. They are no joke, and uh, their 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 record is not indicative of how they play. They play really fast, really speedy ball. Um, what are you and the team kind of looking at for this next game of yours? Have you ever played Wyoming Indian? Um, I used to go to school at Wyoming Indian, but but have you ever played them? It's no, very difficult we, to play them when I, you're. I played them as a freshman at their house, but oh. it didn't go good. And me and Kaysen and Brennan were freshmen, and we lost to them. But I'm looking to redeem ourselves and win this one. Well, hey, good luck. Congratulations, Papa Murphy's player of the game. Uh, go get some lunch, and then we'll see you here at 6 o'clock tonight against Wyoming Indian. All right, thank you so much. No problem. Have a good rest of your day, young man. Mm -hmm. And we will go right back to the ads, and we will come right back with our final moments of our Click It or Ticket postgame show. If your vehicle needs repair you can depend on the crew at extra care auto repair they can repair almost anything with wheels gas diesel domestic or import and their work is top quality and reliable extra care auto repair on north federal in riverton why should your new floor come from carpet one because we're passionate about the spaces our neighbors call home we're part of your community and we're also part of the world's largest cooperative of independently owned and operated flooring stores so you can be sure you'll get great selection and outstanding value with every installation. Whether it's carpet, hardwood, tile, or luxury vinyl, our experts take the guesswork out of choosing the right floor. We're your local Carpet One Floor and Home, the one store for your perfect floor. Ernie Over and Sean O'Bright back, and uh, I hope you were able to hear those <laughs> interviews. Yeah, some of them at the end there were a little loud. <laughs> Yeah, the home team, uh, the Powell Panthers, are uh, on the floor now against the Grable Buffs, and uh, we had the player introductions that were quite loud here. But it is their home floor, so you kind of expect that. Uh, again, thank you for uh, joining us uh, today. The uh, final score of our game, Lander Valley 52 and the Thermopolis Bobcats 43. Now tonight, uh, this afternoon, on uh, 93.9, We'll have, no, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong schedule. 99.1 KWYW, yep. Wyoming Indian versus Thermopolis. That's at 3 o'clock. And then at 6 o'clock, right after that game, we're going to switch back to KFCW for Lander Valley and uh, Wyoming Indian High School. So that's uh, the uh, action so far from the Bighorn Basin Tournament up in Powell. Thanks uh, to... Um, I think did Rusty get us started today? Rusty did get us started. Thank you, Rusty. She's also watching our cats. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, very good. And uh, we had help from uh, uh, Kirk Baxter as well. And I'm not sure if Katie's there yet. I don't think so. But, yeah, no. we thank you, Kirk, Rusty, Katie, everyone getting us on and off because uh, we're out in PAL right now having fun. But we appreciate it. Could we, do, we could not do anything that we do without you guys. Yeah. All right, uh, that is uh, it for Sean and myself, and we'll be back uh, on uh, 99.1 for Wyoming Indian Boys in Thermopolis at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Ernie Over, Sean O'Bright, bidding you a pleasant good afternoon from the high and dry northern plain. No snow up here. None, absolutely <laughs> none. Yes, thank you guys very much. And we'll be back with a pregame show around 2.30 to 2.45, so stay tuned to 99.1. We will see you guys then. High Plains Power is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative. What does that mean for you as a Rural Electric Association member? It all comes down to seven principles. Open membership, one voice, one vote, member benefits, independence, education, cooperation, and community. To understand how it all works, we're headed back in time. In 1879, electricity was in major cities, but rural areas were out of luck. In 1935, President FDR made it possible for companies to build power lines to unserved areas. By the time we hit 1941, some 400 electric co-ops had been organized to serve rural America, just like High Plains Power. For more information, visit highplainspower.com.